but I, I really just, I feel like I owe it to, you know, anybody who comes across my channel just to keep it a stack, you know what I mean, at all times. And I like to talk a lot about my removal process. This is something that I hold dearly to my heart because a lot of agents, a lot of people, a lot of friends and family, they always think, you know, what can I add? How can I add something to my life? How can I, how can this bring value or add, 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 right? I'm more of like, you know, what can I take away like from myself that's hindering my growth? And so to do some of those things is, is obviously to shed the light into the darkness. And I hope, and I just, you know, I really hope that I could be that flashlight for some of you guys, or at least just one, just one person, right? And I truly believe in my heart that if you guys can wake up and really listen to what I'm about to tell you, that this could literally flip everything for you. Maybe you don't relate to me talking about, you know, my childhood, being super broke, being addicted to alcohol, being addicted to cigarettes, right? Having negative habits, getting locked up as a kid, having a checkered past. Maybe you guys don't relate to some of that stuff. But there is one thing that I know we all share in common besides being one kind and that's a human kind, like Bruce Lee always said. And that one thing is that sugar is your first addiction. Whether you know that or not, you have been consuming sugar inadvertently since you were a child, more than likely. The baby food your mother gives you, right? And I'm not talking about like bad sugar, I mean good sugar, like fruits, strawberries, bananas, grapes. I even consume honey. What I'm talking about is bad sugar. These are things that you give kids during birthday parties, cakes, ice creams, candies, you know, soda, juices, things that cause inflammation within the body. You have to know that if you're not aware of your addiction to sugar, you will become aware after this video. You will acknowledge the fact that you have a problem because there's a simple test we all can use. Just don't eat sugar. Just don't eat it. Look at the labels. How hard is it for you to look at the labels, right? And remove the sugar. I truly believe sugar is the culprit, the beginning to all addiction. Why am I talking about this? What, what does this have to do with final expense or you know sales or telesales, right? It has everything to do with that. The best person that can sell quick, they can sell anything, right? Let's just say they could sell ice to a snowman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are they the kind of person that does that once in one year? Or do you have the self-discipline? Do you have the confidence? Do you have the vision elevate your frequency? If you don't develop yourself as a person and you make a sale on the phone, you're just going to get up. You're going to get up. You're going to move around. You're going to do other shit. But when you're committed to the vision, you will sit down. And then you will know because your income will continuously rise. The belief you have in yourself will continuously rise. The frequency you're at will continuously rise, okay? Three things I want you guys to think about when we talk about addiction to sugar. The first one is control. Are you in control? Think about that. When you see cakes, cupcakes, sugar, when you see soda sitting out on the table, when your spouse asks you, hey, do you wanna go grab some ice cream? Or hey, do you wanna go eat some fast food? Are you actually the person in control? Here's how you'll answer that question and know for sure. Give me all the benefits that sugar has for you personally. Fuck everybody else. What does it do for you? I wanna know. Comment below. What does sugar do for you personally? That is a health benefit. That can benefit that. What is sugar gonna do that's gonna take you to the next level, right? Now, I want you to answer what has sugar done against you, right? What has soda done against you? Has it made you bloated? Have you ever eaten sugar so much you felt sick? Have you had eaten sugar so much you developed cavities, right? Uh, when you eat sugar, do you feel high? Do you feel like wired up? How about the next day? Do you feel happy when you wake up? These are things I want you guys to become aware of. Like, I'm not asking you to stop eating sugar today, but I just want to bring this awareness to you. So are you in control, right? The second thing I wanna talk about is anxiety. Why do people experience anxiety 
on a daily basis, they might not even know that sugar is the culprit behind all of their anxiety. What is anxiety? It's uncertainty. Now, I'm going to take it a step further, right? When I smoke cigarettes, I used to smoke. I used to always think, man, this calms my nerves. These cigarettes, they even me out, man. They make me evenly keel. I'm, I'm relaxed, right, when I smoke. It actually makes your heart race. Like when you smoke a cigarette, your, your, height, your heart race uh, elevates, your heartbeat elevates, your blood pressure elevates. So it doesn't actually relax you. It actually seems to physically do the complete opposite to what you think. And the same goes with sugar, right? You think sugar tastes good, but in reality, if sugar was the thing that tasted good, how come you don't just eat it straight? Why don't you just eat sugar straight out the box? Think about it. All your favorite flavors and your favorite candies, what are they flavored after? Sugar? No. They're flavored after pineapple, right? Strawberry flavor, blueberry, you know, fruit punch, right? Keyword, fruit. The punch is from the sugar whooping your ass, so you know what I'm saying? One slice ain't gonna hurt, but you can't fool your subconscious mind. You cannot fool the observer in the back of your mind. And so what that does is it tells your conscious mind, hey, this guy's lying to himself. He doesn't really care about himself. How the hell can he care about himself if he works out hard as hell just to sabotage it at eight o'clock at night? I'll be honest with you guys, sugar was probably the hardest thing for me to kick. Like it was probably, it was harder than alcohol and I didn't think anything will be harder than stopping smoking cigarettes. I was smoking cigarettes since I was 12 years old. Newports on top of that. I got up to two packs a day. Like, you want to talk about anxiety. The reason that I had anxiety was because in the back of my mind, I'm smoking these cigarettes and my brain is like depleting itself of oxygen. So that's my subconscious way of telling me, dude, you're killing yourself. You're literally hanging yourself, right? You're making it to where you can't breathe. You're suffocating yourself. But because I'm walking around and I'm getting used to it, I don't feel those, those suffocating feelings because it's just in such small increments, it's not noticeable. It only becomes noticeable when the doctor tells you, hey, you got COPD, hey, you need a nebulizer, hey, you gotta carry this fucking oxygen tank with you. Only then are people like, whoa, let me take a look at this, right? I don't want that to be you guys. In fact, if you can get a grasp on this addiction of sugar, very early on, not only can you prevent all of these things from happening to you, but you can also begin to elevate your life in ways you did not think was possible. I'm talking weight loss, man. I'm talking confidence, right? Being able to bring that control aspect back into your life. And when I say weight loss, I ain't bullshitting you, dude. I cut all sugar out, soda, juice, all that stuff. I don't miss it. I don't want it. When I eat it, it tastes like piss. Literally, it tastes like nasty, okay? The headache was the best headache I ever had. It was the worst headache for, the, for two days, but it was the best headache because I knew it was the last one I would ever have to experience, right? And so, dude, I lost like 20 pounds just from cutting sugar completely out of my diet. No working out at all. So why don't we do a challenge? Why don't you guys drop in the comments below. Let me know how many days you want to try to stop eating sugar. Three days? Five days? Hey, keep me posted. You know, shoot me a DM. Guys, we're in this together. I'm talking full circle personal development is what you guys need to elevate to the next level. Hey, don't forget, we got the Mighty Networks link also down in the description. We can hold each other accountable there. We're going to role play Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we have the coaching call every Wednesday. I'd love to see at least one of you guys tap in and start being more productive and accelerating your personal development growth. I adopted a form, you know. I'm